Hi everybody, I'm Sips. Welcome to an evening with Sips, and uh, tonight we're going to play Adam Zombie Smasher. Um, this is a zombie apocalypse strategy game, and uh, we're just going to play normal mode, and we're not going to choose any of these options. If you guys decide to get this game, uh, you can play around with these options. It'll extend your games and make them a bit more replayable, and uh, randomize things a bit more. But uh, for now, let's just uh, let's just jump in and see what it's all about. Um, this game is fantastic. Um, you might not be able to do like a full playthrough, but um, I can certainly give you guys a feel for the game and uh, and hopefully convince you to get it. It's on sale on Steam at the moment, and uh, it's well worth it. It's it's a good, it's a great game. Um, I was gonna say good, but actually it's great. Um, I've I've played this and replayed it many times, and it's the kind of game that you can leave for a couple of weeks or months, and you'll always want to come back to you because uh, it's quite fun. You can sit here for like you know, half an hour play game, or if you want to have like a big sort of like marathon game for a couple of hours, you can do that too. And uh, it's all very sort of randomized and uh, replayable, so it's quite good. Alright, so um, here we go. Start of our game. Uh, the Zed are the zombies, and uh, this is the tactical map. Um, this is what you're doing between terms. Uh, terms? Turns. Uh, yeah, you want to um, you want to capture territories if possible because they'll give you points um, every turn. And the Zed are going to also try to capture territories, which will give them points every turn. And, uh, and there's also the option to neutralize the territory, which gets no points for anybody. So um, we're just going to uh, jump in here because that's all we can do. This is the the first turn. Uh, this is where the Zed are. Um, this is the city that they're attacking and. Uh, we're going to try to evacuate as many people as we can from the city. The Zed will uh, infect them and turn them into Zed, these little yellow dots here. And uh, the Zed will be coming down these three streets here. So we need to, uh, we need to get the Pleasant Pheasant, our uh, evacuation helicopter, positioned in, in, in an area where um, it's got range to, to sort of um, you know, summon these, these citizens. Um, but far enough away, sorry, from the, uh, from the Zed, uh, so that we have time to actually evacuate people. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put it over here, I think. And that should be good. Um, quite, quite a long way for the Zed to, uh, to shamble over and, uh, start eating people, so, uh, let's see how we do. Um, all this stuff down here is hotkeyed, so, you know, one through to whatever. That, you know, if we... If we get to the point where we want to reposition where our landing zone is, um, I can just press one, and then I can uh, I can change it. So, but for now, we don't. Need to. See, we're we're merrily collecting guys, um, but here comes the Zed. Need to watch out. Um, every map has a number of people that you must rescue to neutralize the territory. So, we've already rescued 24 of the 10 required. So, we'll definitely neutralize this territory. Um, can on the uh, on the flip side of that, we can kill all the Zed, uh, which will gain us the territory. We'll secure the territory, um, or we could uh, not get the ten, and uh, and the Zed could just completely um, take over the territory for themselves and get the points every turn. Um, we want to try to avoid that because uh, it, you know things can really start snowballing, especially when the uh, the Zed territories are close together. Um, they can sort of, um, you know, almost like buff the territory. So where there was a threat level of one, it could become a threat level of two or three. And uh, the higher the threat levels, the uh, the more Zed there are, and it's, it gets quite tricky to deal with them. So um, Zed sort of creamed us there. Uh, they infected 94 people, so they got 94 points. We only saved 31 people, we only got 31 points. You want to try to get to these milestones, because this is where you start unlocking stuff, like research, um, the Catbird Cannon, which is a space hammer, apparently. Um, that's kind of like an orbital bombardment, so is this. And uh, the Zed sort of move into uh, getting big, massive sort of Zed, and, uh, and they move faster, and they're more numerous. So. Um, between each mission, we have this sort of victory track and uh, 6,000 points. It's the winner, basically. I'm gonna do it though; it's no problem. Um, we unlocked. Uh, well, actually, after every map, you unlock something pretty much until um, you get to the point where you can unlock anything. Uh, but in this case, now we've got this. We got snipers, and uh, 
the Wrath Bronzes from the 520th Division. Uh, we can rename them, so we can call them like, um, I don't know, me of Steve. Steve's. There we go. The, uh, the Adam Zombie Smasher version of Steve's. We sign, sign on the uh, dotted line, and, uh, and they're ours. They're ready to go. We've hired some mercenaries. So we get points every turn for the uh, territories that we own. We got 20 that time. We're still trailing, but it's not a problem. We'll be alright. We got snipers now, so, you know. Um, and it's the uh, Seven Sisters Petroleum, uh, whatever that means. But it means that we got increased helicopter speed, so that's uh, worth noting for this turn. So Pleasant Pheasant will be uh, moving very fast. Alright, let's uh, let's evacuate Wekla. Population of 125, and we'll get some mercenaries as a reward. Alright, so, helicopter, let's put it here, and uh, let's get some snipers covering the approach. And, uh, we'll stick them here, and we'll have them look down this street. So as soon as the Zed turn this corner and get into here, the snipers start picking them off. And uh, we can reposition the snipers later on as well, just by using the hotkey and uh, choosing to aim them down this way. So when these guys start coming out in numbers, we'll, uh, we'll point them down here and, and get some shots off there too. Let's see how we go. Alright, here comes the chopper. Nice foghorn to signal the uh, civilians to it. The, uh, Snipers are uh, on the lookout. And, uh, they're about to get some action. Here we go. A couple of shots, and uh, see, see, zombies have green blood, and uh, it's splattered all over the road there. Um, I guess the sniper is um, exploding them. Um, it's good. That's what we want them to do. See, they're uh, they're just sort of getting chewed up by these snipers now. Uh, and that's fine. We'll reposition them now, cover the approach. It takes a little while for them to reposition, but they've got a uh, really good view because they're on top of a building. So um, We can cover this whole approach and uh, it means that our civilians have a, have a better chance of surviving. Let's get this little Mr. Bastards down here. They're going to cause some problems. And if we can wipe them all out, um, even better. Because, um, oh, oh, oh god. That was bad. That did not work well. And, uh, and that's the beauty of this game, you know? You, uh, you're you never really guaranteed anything. And uh, we didn't do too badly there. We managed to rescue quite a few civilians. But um, fortunately, these last two guys are probably uh, going to get eaten. Especially now that it's night time. And here come more Zed. And this guy is literally just shitting his pants now. But we might actually rescue him. Um, he's going to be scared. He's going to be traumatized. But, uh... <laughs> We got him. Well, that's good. He lives to uh, to tell his tale. Um, between every level as well, we get uh, XP. So uh, any any mercenary that we're using, and it's random too. Once you get all the mercenaries, it'll just pick a random slew of um, mercenaries to give you, and those those are what you got to use. Uh, which adds another random element to the game, uh, which is excellent. So. We got some XP for the Pleasant Pheasant and for the Snipers, and uh, we can upgrade them when we get to 125 points. Uh, likewise for these dudes too, so uh, that'll be coming up pretty soon. So not bad, we're still trailing by 37 points. We'll get our 20 points for the territory that we own, and uh, we'll close the gap a little bit. And uh, we got artillery now as well, so the, uh, the 732nd Glory Burnings. Uh, nice random name there. And uh, not a bad name either, so let's keep that. And uh, we'll sign to get them added to the roster. And uh, we got our 20 points, closing the gap. Zed also got a couple of points for uh, having this territory, but uh, that's fine. We'll take it over. Longer daytime, more Zed. Good thing we got artillery. Um, this is what I'm talking about, see? There's a couple of infestations now, and they're isolated, which is fine, but Let's say the uh, infestation happened here and here, and then we rolled into the next turn, and these three were still together. That would probably get increased to two, um, and it would make it much harder to take back. So these isolated threats is, is sort of what we want to keep throughout the game. So the more con territories we conquer, we can isolate all these other little territories, and then we shouldn't get uh, too many high threat levels. But uh, let's go for this one. Uh, 
Diaz El Rogonza, population 125. Let's try to get them all. Uh, we might be able to. We got snipers and artillery this time, so. Um, let's put the LZ there. Let's get some snipers set up to look down. Oops. Here. And uh, we want the artillery sort of tucked away in the corner so that it can. Uh, I mean, it's got full map coverage, so. We'll put it there, and then we'll bombard probably this this sort of little street here, and then we we'll snipers to take out these two here. So let's see how we do. And uh, straight away, get some artillery down. It takes a little while for the shell to land, and uh, it's got a recharge time as, as well. So once the uh, once the shell hits, or sorry, once you uh, once you fire, um, the charge timer starts, and you can reduce that with upgrades later on. But basically, we want to have these constantly, uh, constantly going. And uh, off we go. Load of 17 on the helicopter. We've got the snipers merrily sort of shooting away here. That wasn't the best artillery. Um, not by a long shot, but um, there you go. We're going to have to uh, get one there, I think. Here comes the chopper. And... Um, we should neutralize the territory here, no problem. It should be a full load, so... And, uh... Oh, yes. That's quite a nice shot. Killed a lot of Zed there. Uh, snipers are still... pegging away. And, uh, let's get some artillery down there. And uh, we might get another full load. We might do quite well here. Let's just reposition the LZ slightly. They're away from this guy. Uh, once the helicopter comes in and, uh, the Foghorn goes... Uh, all these guys will go crazy. They want to get on the helicopter. Uh, see it sort of some move faster. So we, we managed to move them away from this one this lonely zombie. All he wants to do is eat people. But we're denying him. That LZ is gonna get hot in a minute. I don't think it's gonna be a full no, just shy of a full load. Uh it's gonna have to take off. And uh I think that's pretty much all we're gonna be able to do. We might be able to get some sneaky uh, let's reposition these guys and see if we can get the last couple of Guys, I don't think so. Oh god, it's night time. We're good. Here comes the Zed. Here comes some infections. Oh, it's all over. But we rescued 71 people. Bad. We got a uh, upgrade for the old pleasant pheasant and uh, some good XP for our other mercenaries. And uh, it's just telling me that I've got some upgrades. Um, pleasant pheasant upgrades. Not too bad. We can uh, decrease the arrival time of the helicopter, or we can decrease the load time of the helicopter. I tend to do load time because um, you know the helicopter's fast enough already. We want the guys to get on quicker, so let's go for that and uh, see how we do. Um, ah, we're ahead. We're ahead by a couple of points now. A silver, silver medal for that, which is good. And uh, we neutralized the territory. We got the. 666 moon shadows, which are barricades, uh, satanic barricades, apparently. So, um, moon shadows. Let's uh, let's go with that. That's fun. Uh, barricades are pretty good too. It, it means that we can sort of um, choose where the zombies are going to go streetwise, um, providing we haven't demolished all the buildings with artillery and bombs and other stuff. Um, oh, we got a new viget. It's a uh, random little comic, uh, which we can watch. Very nice. Oh, guy with a uh, Viking helmet on. What's he gonna say? Nothing. He didn't say anything. And uh, Adele packs her favorite t-shirt and opens the front door. She starts walking. Fantastic comic. Um, right, let's do this. Oh, we might have problems here, see? Together, so let's go for this one. Uh, this is Zayo. Population 125. And uh, we got barricades now, we got artillery now, and we got uh, we got Army of Steves. So um, there are snipers. And uh, we, should, we should do pretty good. So we got two barricades to work with, and uh, basically what we want to do with the barricades is uh, make it hard for the Zed to, uh, to get to uh, our LZ. So if we put a barricade here, and we put one here, it means that you have to go all the way around to get up here, to get back here where we're going to put our LZ. Clever stuff, eh? So we put the LZ there. Um, it means that all these dudes are going to make their way to the LZ, and then it means that all we need to do is cover this sort of main artery into uh, into our little 
little base, which we can do quite well with the snipers. And uh, we'll get the artillery set up, and we can pelt this area here, and, uh, and we should do pretty good. So let's see. Let's see, it's raining. Uh, snipers are out. Let's get some shells down. And uh, and let's see how many dudes we can rescue. We, ha we have to rescue 40, which is a lot. Good thing we got the barricades. Um, nice artillery there. Did, did pretty good with that. Let's, uh, let's try to up the rest of this lane as so. well. And uh, snipers are almost done with this middle lane here, which means we can reposition them here and, uh, and start killing these guys. Oh, that's really nice. It's really nice. That's exactly what we needed. And uh, if we can do this in 30 seconds, we'll take the territory. Which is good. Reposition the old uh, nippers. Get that guy. Reposition again. And uh, oh my. This is going to be close. It's going to be pretty close. See, the snipers don't fire too quickly. Um, it's not a problem. About 15 seconds to land this artillery. Got the snipers, reposition slightly, and uh, pick off these last two. And there, we did it! We rescued everybody! And uh, you can hear in the background, everybody's very happy about that. We got a gold medal, we got another upgrade for the Pleasant Pheasant, we got a shit ton of XP, which is fantastic. And uh, let's, uh, let's reduce that load time even more on the old Pleasant Pheasant. I love that name, Pleasant Pheasant. So nice. Zed got no points for that, and we got 110. Uh, so we own them. We're we're way ahead now. Captured the territory, so we get 20 extra points every turn. And we also got landmines. Yvonne's boars. <laughs> Fantastic. That's that. Um, and this is good. See, it means that we we got a wedge here now, so that. You know, these territories aren't going to cluster together, although these two already are, so let's see what happens. Um, we've got a new Zedpedia entry for the evac helicopter. Uh, they're worth a read. They're not too bad, actually. And uh, we need to attack here now, or here. Um, Los Shafiago or Las Ixtianga. Let's go for the first one. Uh, I can't pronounce either of those, but whatever. Um, this one shouldn't be too bad, actually. And these landmines are really cool. Um, so let's get some barricades set up. This is a bit tricky when you have these, like, open grass areas. Um, we'll probably want to get our... Yeah, let's do this. Barricade here and here. So it means that they've got to make their way into here, at least, to get to our LZ, which we'll put um, in this cool little grass area um, for now. That'll be fine. And then we'll get our uh, artillery set up here. And landmines. These, these landmines are amazing. Uh, notice that we don't have the snipers this time. Uh, we got Yvonne's boars instead. Um, so another another random element there, which is quite cool. So let's uh, let's get these landmines set up on the uh, on the far side here. And uh, when the Zed walk over them, they blow up. Um, which yeah, that's that's exactly what we want. So, over they go, and beep, 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 blam, they're dead. Get some uh, artillery down to you. Um, Zed are moving a bit faster than they were last time, and uh, we might not take this territory, but we'll definitely neutralize it with the help of some barricades. We only need to get 50 people, and a couple more shots like that, we should do quite well. Alright, time for another, uh, another artillery barrage. And see those mines? That whole lane took it out quite well using the uh, using the mines. Actually, I could have put three mines down, but uh, for some reason I, I clicked too soon. And, uh, we can't put the mines down once the uh, once the thing has started. So there you go. It's more artillery. Um, we're probably going to hit daytime. Artillery is too hard to sort of snipe uh, the remaining Zed, especially when they're like not clustered together. See, we're never going to get all these guys. Uh, so we're never going to really take the territory. We really needed the snipers to mop up, but we might be able to get these We come down here. We don't want them to get into this red zone, because we won't be able to snipe them. Um, come on. Oh, no. 
we uh, we decided to hit a building instead, so oh well. Not to worry. Get some artillery um, here. Might be able to move the LZ actually. Um, is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, let's put it here. Let's see what happens. Oh no, let's put it here. We'll get a whole bunch of guys down here. Because somehow that artillery hit that one straggling Zed, which would have infected all of them very quickly. But, um, we've got our reduced load time, so these guys should all um, jump onto the helicopter a little bit quicker. And uh, let's see, let's see how we do. Oh, this might make it. No, he didn't make it. Cool, 70 out of 50, not too bad. Only 24 Zed infections, so they didn't do too good there. And uh, we're still way ahead of them. Uh, we didn't take the territory, but we neutralized it, which is which is fine. Ah yes, Zed bait, military grade Zed bait. Um, falling bears. Um, I guess the bears are falling. But uh, yeah, these are cool. They're like little smoke canisters that attract the Zed, so you can sort of um, position them somewhere else on the map, um, far away from your stuff. Good to cluster them up to uh, to bomb them as well which we'll probably see once we get to dynamite. Um, shorter daytime, less Zed. Midnight sun, that sounds good to me. Alright, this is going to get tricky now, because we've got a cluster here and a huge cluster here, so we're going to have to try to interrupt this one first before things get out of hand over here. Alright, oh, very stressful, very stressful. Um, let's get some snipers set up here. Let's get our artillery set up back here, and uh, this canister thing we can use once the round started. So let's get the LZ, 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 whichever. Let's, we'll get it set up there. We got sniper coverage, and then we'll use the um, use the beacon thing to um, to attract them into the center here, probably here. Once these two guys get around the corner, get them to come back around here and get stuck in this really narrow street. And the snipers hopefully will be able to get them. So we won't use it straight away, um, but to begin with, we get some artillery down. And we got the snipers just just plucking away at this there. And we can actually reposition we need a lot less said. We might actually do this. Not have a problem this time. Let's see if we can snipe this lonesome Zed here. And if not. We got the snipers. Although short daytime, though. Look at this. It's, uh, it's going to come down to the wire. Ah, but we did it. No problem. Very easy. We got a silver medal, even though we uh, we won. But we uh, we managed to upgrade our army of Steves. Um, so that's good. Uh, refire time. Reposition time. Not so much a problem. Refire time, though. Very good. We can get these guys like semi-auto. That'd be great. At the moment, I think they're just like bolt action or whatever, which takes a little bit longer to reload. Um, and we got the territory. Not the territory. So it's ours. Well, I think um, I think that's enough, actually. Um, I'll save my game, and uh, I can continue playing if you guys want to see me play, but um, I wasn't planning on doing a full playthrough of this. I just wanted to give you guys like a feel for um, how this game works, and, uh, and how much fun it is. I, I, I really like this game. I like to just sit here for like an hour or two hours or whatever and uh, and have a game of this. I find the strategy stuff pretty fun and uh, I like I like the randomness. I like how um, I like how not every sort of encounter is the same. You gotta change up your tactics. You have to get good with everything and you know I'm not very good. Like I don't play this game all the time. Um, I can win um, eventually sometimes. I gotta retry a couple of times but you know that's the way it goes. But, um, but yeah hopefully um, Hopefully you guys found that interesting, and, uh, and hopefully some of you guys will, will take advantage of the fact that this game is on sale for like a uh, dollar, I think. Two dollars maybe? The Steam sale, which is going through till the uh, new year as far as I know. Um, this is a great indie game, and uh, as with all indie games on Steam, uh, they are on sale quite often, and you can get them for next to nothing, and uh, really good value for money. So, yeah, so I highly recommend it, and um, thanks for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. 
and uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'll, uh, I've got a couple of uh, little indie games that people gifted to me over Christmas, so thank you very much to everybody who did that. And um, I promise I'll play them, and I promise I'll record myself playing them uh, so that you guys can see the fruits of your labor. So, uh, so yeah, on that note, um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you for the next one.